Hello friends, hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to the seventh practice set of the SAT series. Uh, in this episode, we are going to take questions specifically on the complex numbers. Uh, so let's get started here. So we have this fraction, one minus i whole square divided by one plus i, and we have to reduce it to a plus bi form, right? We have to reduce this fraction into this form. So uh, obviously we can uh, expand the numerator here, right? Uh, we know that a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? So let's apply this here. Our a is 1 and our b is minus i, right? So we get 1 square plus minus i square plus 2ab plus 2 times 1 times b which is minus i in this case divided by 1 plus i right now let's simplify this so it becomes 1 minus i whole square is i square right minus i times minus i is i square plus i square minus 2i divided by 1 plus i. Now, we know by definition that i is the square root of negative 1 and i square is nothing but negative 1, right? This is the definition of i and i square. So i square is basically negative 1. So let's plug in there negative 1 here. So 1 minus 1 minus 2i divided by 1 plus i, right? 1 and 1 gets cancelled. So we are left with minus 2i over 1 plus i, correct? So we have been able to simplify and get till here, correct? Now the question is that, how do we take care of this? So let's write it here, minus 2i over 1 plus i, right? We know that to rationalize the denominator, we multiply the fraction by the conjugate of the denominator, correct? The conjugate of 1 plus i is 1 minus i. So we will multiply this by the conjugate 1 minus i both at the denominator as well as as the numerator, right? Now this becomes 1 plus i times 1 minus i, which is like a plus b times a minus b. And we know that is equal to a square minus b square, correct? So this is like 1 square minus i square, right? And we can do the FOIL method on the top, so it is minus 2i plus 2i square. Minus 2i times 1 is minus 2i, and minus 2i times minus i is plus of 2i square, right? So the numerator becomes 1 minus of minus 1, because i square is negative 1, and this becomes minus 2i, i square is negative 1, so this becomes minus 2, right? And then this becomes 1 plus 1 is 2, so minus 2i minus 2, and then you can break it down to minus 2i divided by 2, minus 2 by 2, which is nothing but minus 1 minus i, okay? Just to quickly reiterate, when we got this question, we expanded the numerator by a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab. We got this, we simplified this, we finally got down to this, and then we multiplied this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator to get rid of the i from the denominator. Finally, we get minus 1 minus i. So our a is equal to minus 1, and our b is also equal to minus 1. Uh, question 2. We have to simplify this expression. Square root of negative 3 plus square root of negative 9 plus square root of negative 16. Okay. Again, we know i is nothing but the square root of negative 1. Correct? That's the definition of i. So we can write this as minus 1 times 3 we can write this as minus 1 times 9. We can write this as 
minus 1 times 16. Correct. Now this is nothing but square root of negative 1 times square root of 3. Square root of negative 1 times square root of 9 plus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. Correct. This is nothing but i. This is root 3 here plus this is nothing but i. Square root of 9 is 3 plus this is i. Square root of 16 is 4. Correct. So we get root 3i plus 3i plus 4i, right, which is equal to 7i plus root 3i, correct? You can take i common here and your answer would be this. i taken out 7 plus root 3. So pretty straightforward question. All we are doing is using the definition of i, which is negative square, uh, square root of negative 1. So this becomes root 3i, this becomes 3i, this becomes 4i. 3i plus 4i is 7i, and this is root 3i. You take i common and 7 plus root 3. Now question number 3. We have an arithmetic series here, something like 3 comma 3i, and we have to find the next term of this arithmetic series, right? So what's an arithmetic series? Basically, that's a series in which the difference of the two consecutive terms is the same, correct? So let's find the difference between two terms and we will add that difference to this term to find the next term, right? So what's the difference here? The difference is 3i minus 3, right? The next term minus the previous term. So this is the difference, 3i minus 3. To find the next term, we've got to add this difference to this term, right? So this is the first term, this is the second term. You have to find the third term. The third term would be second term plus the difference, right? So this guy will be equal to second term, which is 3i, plus the difference, right? And the difference is 3i minus 3. So 3i plus 3i minus 3, which is equal to... 6i minus 3, or you can write it as minus 3 plus 6i. So this will be the next term of this arithmetic series. Again, pretty straightforward. We found the difference between the two terms, which is 3i minus 3, and we added the difference to the second term to get the third term. So minus 3 plus 6i would be the third term. Question number 4. This is a kind of a continuation to the previous question in which we just solved this question when it was in arithmetic series. Now, instead of the arithmetic series, if it's a geometric series, then how do we find this term, correct? In the geometric series, the common ratio remains the same, right? So the common ratio remains the same in the geometric series. What is the common ratio? In this case, it will be the second term divided by the first term. So 3i divided by 3, which is equal to i. Right, so this is the common ratio. So every term will be multiplied by this common ratio to get to the next term, as simple as that. So, so this term would be 3i times the common ratio, and the common ratio is i, so which is equal to 3i times i, which is equal to 3i square, and i square is minus 1, so it becomes minus 3. So in case of a geometric series, this term would be minus 3. Question number 5. So we have to evaluate the value or simplify this expression. Right? Now, again, we know that i is square root of negative 1 and i square is minus 1. So we got to write all of these powers in terms of i square because we know the value of i square which is negative 1. So let's see. So we can write this as i square to the power of 4 times i because 2 times 4 is 8 and then 8 plus 1 would be 9. So we're trying to write everything in terms of i square as much as we can. 
plus 10 i square to the power of 5. plus 11 i square to the power of 5 times i because 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11 we got to get 11 here right because it was i to the power 11 plus 12 i square to the power of 6 so you've tried to rewrite this expression in terms of i square as much as we can because now we can plug the value of i squared as negative 1 in this whole thing. So let's see. So we get i squared is negative 1 times i plus 10 i squared is negative 1 to the power of 5 plus 11 i squared is negative 1 to the power of 5 times i and plus 12 minus 1 to the power of 6 right now this becomes plus 1 because it's an even power so it becomes 9i this becomes negative 1 because negative 1 to the power of 5 is negative 1 so it becomes negative 10 this becomes negative 1 so minus 11i and this becomes positive 1 because minus 1 to the even power would be plus 1 so it, become, it will become plus 12 okay. and it gets simplified to 9i minus 11i is minus 2i and minus 10 plus 12 is plus 2 right so this is the simplified form of this expression. Maybe we can take two common here and we can write 1 minus i. Right? Just to quickly reiterate, all we are doing is breaking that in terms of i square and then plugging the value of i square as negative 1 and solving it as much as we can. Right? Question number 6. So if a the symbol times b is equal to a plus b over a and we have to evaluate 2 plus i the symbol in i so this is not a multiplication sign this is a symbol right this is a symbol you can make it like this right so this becomes our a and this becomes our b correct so as per this definition this will be equal to a plus b so a plus b so 2 plus i plus i over a which is 2 plus i right if we solve this we get 2 plus 2i over 2 plus i correct now we got to rationalize this we know that we need to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator on both the numerator and the denominator side so we multiply this by 2 minus i here and 2 minus i here right and on the denominator we get this is now a plus b times a minus b which is a square minus b square so this is 2 square minus b square right we do the foil on the top so we get 4 minus 2i plus 4i minus 2i square, right? Correct. This is equal to 4 minus of minus 1. i square is minus 1. Here we get 4 minus 2i plus 4i is plus 2i. And this is minus 1. So minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. So it becomes plus 2. Right? So this becomes 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, and here we get 2i plus 6. And then we can break it down in terms of a plus bi, so 6 over 5 plus 2 over 5i. So this is of the form of 
a plus b r. Again, just to quickly reiterate, right? If this is the definition of a, the symbol b is equal to a plus b divided by a, then this becomes our a and this becomes our b. So a plus b divided by a. We solve that, multiplied multiply by the conjugate as usual, and finally we got in terms of a plus b r. Okay, last question here. Evaluate slash simplify this expression i cube to the power 134 times i, right? Now, as we have been discussing in the previous questions, all we have to do is to write in terms of i square and use the value of i square, which is negative 1, right? So this will get multiplied. We know the exponents rule. So this becomes i to the power of 3 times 134. So 134 times 3, which is 402, right? So this becomes 402 times i. Right? Now we can write this in terms of i square, which will be i square to the power of 201 times i. Correct? We're trying to write everything in terms of i square, right? Our initial question was i cube. We multiplied them to get this, and then we broke this number in terms of i square, right? i square is negative 1. So negative 1 to the power of 201 times i. Negative 1 to an odd power will be negative number, negative 1, right? So it becomes negative 1 times i or minus i. So that is the simplification of this whole expression. Again, pretty straightforward. All we are doing is, is rewriting this in terms of i square, plugging the value of i square as negative 1, solving that and taking it forward. Hey folks, hopefully you like the video. Uh, keep practicing. Uh, do like and subscribe. See you in the next session.